hi guys welcome to this class in today's prior video we shall be looking at uh, a problem on dimensional analysis the volume of a liquid flowing per second v is proportional to i the coefficients of viscosity i i the radius of the pi r and i i i the pressure gradient using dimensional analysis obtain the values of the constants x y and z and hence the explicit expression of v this v is volume of the liquid flowing per second so to solve this we know that for a quantity to be dimensionally equivalent the left hand side should equal the right hand side so we have this is the volume per second that is proportional to the this is the coefficient of viscosity this is the radius and this is the pressure gradient this is the pressure gradient so this is proportionality sign so of course you know that this will be v x bar one so it's proportional towards the coefficient of viscosity radius and the pressure gradient so for us to solve this we remove this proportionality sign we have v x bar one equals k we have this where k is a constant so volume is represented dimensionally as l power 3 because you have volume as length times breadth times height is a measurement of length and length is represented dimensionally as uh, as capital L so the dimension of volume is capital what L seconds is the unit of time and time dimensionally is capital what T so for the left hand side here we shall be having it as L capital L capital L to power what three then t to power one so we want to find the respective values of x y and what z of course you see that we have no dimension of mass in volume per second here so this becomes m power what zero all right for this to be dimensionally equivalent the left hand side should equal the right hand side so let us define the parameters on the right hand side this is the coefficient of viscosity represented as this is given as force per unit area per unit uh, velocity gradient and velocity gradient is uh, velocity per unit length so first we know it as kilogram meter per second square area is meter square velocity gradient is velocity which is meter per second per unit length length is meter so this cancels then one of these cancels we now have kg x bar 2 this going up will have m bar 1 so this will go up to we have x to the power of 1 so that we now have that this is kg m to the power of 1 s to the power of what 1 so this is the unit of the coefficient of viscosity 
and dimensionally this is representing mass you have capital m this is representing length you have capital l of course this is uh, minus one this is representing time you have c so power of what minus one so if velocity gradient is velocity per unit length pressure gradient will be pressure pressure per unit length and we know that pressure is force upon area so we have this as force upon area upon length force per unit area per unit length and force is kilogram meter per second square area is meter square length is meter so this cancels this this going up we have kg m bar 2 s bar 2 so that dimensionally we have it as m l over 2 t bar 2 so we have gotten the dimension of pressure gradient and gotten the dimension of what the coefficient of viscosity so employing it here we now have it as k this will be m l bar 1 t bar 1 part of x we have r r is a measurement of length we have l to the power of y so this will be p is pressure gradient we have gotten it this is m l bar 2 t bar 2 to the power of what z now if we remove this bracket we have m power of 0 L power of 3, T power of minus 1 equals K, M power of X, L power of minus X, T power of minus X, L power of Y, M power of Z, L power of minus 2Z, T power of minus 2Z. And if we collect like times, we have m power of 0, l power of 3, t power of minus 1, we have k, then m, we want to collect all m's, we have m from law of indices, x plus z, have l minus x, we have l here, we have l here and we have l here so minus x plus y plus minus 2z and for t we have t here and we have t here so we have t minus x minus 2z so what is on the left hand side should equal what is on the right hand side going further we see that for m for m we have that x plus z equals zero what is on the left hand side should equal what is on the what right hand side for it to be dimensionally equivalent and it is based on this that we find the relationship between the quantities we are given so for L, we have minus X plus Y minus 2Z equals 3. And for, for T, we have minus X minus 2Z equals minus 1. Calling this equation 1, this equation 2, this what? Equation 3. So, from equation 1, we now see that x equals minus z. This going up here. And 
if x is minus z from equation 3 from equation 3 we have that minus minus z minus 2z equals minus 1 so this is z minus 2z equals what minus 1 this is minus z equals what minus 1 so that z equals what 1 if z equals 1 it implies that x here from equation 1 will be what minus 1 so we have gotten that x is minus 1 and z is 1 if that is the case in equation 2 we have that from equation 2 we have that minus x plus y minus 2z equals 3 we now imply since x is minus 1 we have minus minus 1 plus we don't know why minus 2z is 1 so that is 2 times 1 1 equals 3 so that what we now have is we now have that this is uh this is one we have one plus y minus two equals three so one uh minus two is um minus one so that you have that y so that you have this is minus one so y minus 1 equals 3. It implies that y equals 4. So we have gotten the respective values of x, y, and z. So x is minus 1, y is 4, and z is 1. The question asks us to find the respective values of the constants x y and z and we've gotten it the next question says find the explicit expression of v which is velocity which is volume per second so it will be from here from here this is regarded as the v the velocity per the volume per second so we have that v we now be that is this volume we now be of course the constant is k this uh, coefficient of viscosity will be x the value of x we got here will be minus one and the uh, radius r is a uh, power of y we have four here and um, z is a uh, one so we have this is pressure gradient you have it as one so this is the relationship between the velocity the volume per second and the coefficient of viscosity the radius and the pressure gradient you can as well rewrite this to be in this form v equals k this is uh, r to the power of four this is the pressure gradient and now this is the coefficient of viscosity so this is the relationship between the volume per second the coefficient of viscosity the radius and the pressure gradient you notice a direct relationship here and you notice an inverse relationship here so dimensional analysis helps us to show relationship between physical quantities if you have enjoyed this video do well to subscribe to the channel to get updates on videos like this share the videos to your friends and don't forget to uh, leave comments comment on where areas you want us to treat next have a lovely morning good day